Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here today, and today I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing for you. Now, as you can see, i got a pretty big box here. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get this open. been waiting a little while to get this in the mail. After a lot of research, a lot of video watching and contemplating on which way to go, I finally decided what I was going to do and which way I was going to go. And, uh, the paper here, I'm just going to set this off to the side. Now this might give it away. Y'all can see there's a handheld gimbal here. It's a Pro Action Steady Grip. And this is to put a camera on as you're walking and it will keep it nice and steady. And not give you those shots that you sometimes get with a GoPro or another camera where when you're walking you get the bouncing. Uh, you know, up and down and everything. Don't get me wrong, I love the GoPro camera. Fantastic camera. I absolutely love it. But this is a steady grip, and as you can see, this takes a different type of camera that attaches onto this. Get this other box out of here. Move this out of the way. Place it with this box, and now we'll open up this box. Kind of feel like the, uh, you know, getting one of those things where you uh, get multiple size boxes. closer so you can actually see what's going on here See right down in here. Okay, well, what we got is this nice little card here that pretty much tells us everything that we got. And it says, Welcome Pilot. Now, for those of you that don't know what a Q500 Plus Typhoon is, it is a quadcopter or drone as some like to call them. So this is a list of everything that's in here and as we see we have all of the manuals, um, share a video and this is showing you the handheld gimbal. You actually can attach your phone to this so you can see what the camera's seeing while you're recording that way you know exactly what shots you're getting. Um, so this is all the documentation um, needed for this drone or quadcopter. You get two sets of props. So there's eight props in here, which is very nice. Let me go ahead and see. 
this box here should have the SD card and accessories in it. Let me zoom you all back out so we're not quite so claustrophobic here. Okay, so this has the neck strap that attaches to the radio. The USB cable to hook the quadcopter to your computer. This is the USB drive that lets you update the firmware on your computer on your um, quadcopter. It actually hooks to the quadcopter through this little plug right here. I don't want to make this unboxing really long and drawn out, guys. There's a pair of tweezers in case you get a sliver. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the way this drone is designed, or this quadcopter is designed, where this USB cord and plug plug into the quadcopter, you have to kind of reach back into the battery box and fish that other end of the cable out to hook onto this. And it's kind of hard to get your fat fingers in there. And uh, so they give you these nice little tweezers that helps with that. Okay, we have the key to lock up the case. This is the balancing plug for the charger because these are three cell LiPo batteries that come with this and you need a balancing plug so all the cells get charged together. There is an Allen wrench with extra screws in here and a latch that goes to the battery um, tray. So there, this could be indication that maybe this is a weak link in the quadcopter. And this is your tool to use to hold your um, your motors steady while tight tightening on the propellers or the rotors so you can get them nice and tight so they don't fly off. And the last thing in here is the this actually holds all your information for your quadcopter um, for when you're doing your firmware backups or upgrades. Uh, so this is your your um, card for that. Okay, like I said, you do get all the two sets of props. And these are quite large. So this gives you an indication of how large this quadcopter is. This attachment here, I believe, is the sunshade to go on the controller of the Q500 Plus. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, this sets on your controller, keeps the sun out of your eyes or off the screen so you can see what your quadcopter is doing. Um, one of the things that you should know is that you should not try to fly this quadcopter by looking at this screen alone so you always want to keep your quadcopter in your line of sight um, if you do try flying just by this screen and not watching what your quadcopter is doing there's a very high likelihood that you're going to have a mishap um, and destroy your quadcopter and get into the meat and potatoes here so to speak. Now in here as you can see we do have the quadcopter. Um, we have our USB power plug to plug in our charger. We have our cord. This goes you know, to the charger. This charger is right here. Our power cord and our USB cord for plugging in here is our charger and 
and this you know just hooks in right here um, there is a 7.5 amp fuse in this down here buried a little bit deeper they do provide you with a car charger as well so it's a handy feature so in case your batteries do go dead while you're out in the field can plug in the handy car charger and charge your batteries while you're out having fun. And I've been told this fits in here very snugly through all the other reviews that I've watched. And this is the Q500. Now, as you can see, the size of my hand, this is a large quadcopter. Um, right here is our 1080p high-definition camera. This does have a gimbal protector on here because this does have a three-axis gimbal. Now, as you can see, this plugs in on the bottom. Got all this yellow taping on here that's giving you all your cautions and everything. But this is a large quadcopter. Then we do have the remote control. This is a screen that you will be able to see everything that the camera is seeing on here. And again, like I said, you probably shouldn't try to fly this by this screen alone. You need to be watching where your quadcopter is. If you're trying to fly from here, you're probably going to have an accident because you're not going to be able to see what's above or off to the sides of your quadcopter. You're only going to see what's in front of it, and you're probably going to go down. Now, all these trim switches here, um, they have no function with this quadcopter whatsoever. Uh, I'm sure this radio is going to be used, or this transmitter, is going to be used for other um, you know versions of the unique quadcopter line and then maybe those will come into play um, we have very nice controls here uh, they, you know don't feel real cheap or anything and the power on and off button they have put this protective shield on here as you can see on the first version of the Q500, this was not on there, and people were hitting this button by accident while they had their quadcopter in the air, and it was killing the engine, or all of the engines, all four motors, and the thing was dropping to earth like a brick. Okay, um, now this is the control right here for the camera to let the camera, you know, oscillate up and down. So you can get those nice shots. And right here we have turtle and rabbit modes. So in turtle, the quadcopter is going to move very slowly. Um, the, it's not going to have any really fast movements. And that would be for a beginner. And then you can put it anywhere in between all the way up to rabbit where it's going to be more responsive. Now this button right here is for taking pictures. So you can um, take still pictures. And I believe those are in six, or 16 megapixels. Okay, and then this is for video. And like I said, we have 1080p video at up to 60 frames per second. Now, right here we have smart mode, angle mode, and home mode. And smart mode, the, the quadcopter is limited to how far away from you it can go and um, how high it can go. In angle mode, most of those limitations are taken off. There's still a 400 foot ceiling because that's FAA rules that this thing cannot go over 400 feet high. Okay, and it does have a range, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, of 0 0.62 um, of a mile. So just under three quarters of a mile, if I'm not mistaken. So here we have the nice little attachment where you can attach that neck strap and that way you're not holding it. It is a pretty good size 
um, transmitter. We have our power on and off switch right here to turn the transmitter on and the screen. There is no antennas on this that you can see. Um, so everything is, you know, coming from within. One thing Unique has claimed is that they have pretty much eliminated flyaways. Now that is something that has kind of tormented some of the other quadcopter brands out there. Um, so, you know, hopefully that, that was one of my big reasons of going with Unique um, Q500 Plus um, because I really did not want to spend the kind of money that you spend for one of these and then watch it fly away as I have no control of it. So, one of the other really neat things with Unique as a company is most of the times when you buy a quadcopter, um, you get one battery. This comes with not one, but two of these 5,400 milliamp hour three cell batteries, lithium polymer batteries. So that is quite a value when you figure each one of these are $99. And you know, they give you two of them right off the bat. So two batteries included with the kit. Now this is the professional edition or the pro edition and you get this nice aluminum case that holds the quadcopter and all of the accessories right in one nice case. This is the unboxing of the Q500 with just a short overview of everything that you get in the box. I hope this was helpful to anyone that uh, you know, may be looking at purchasing a quadcopter in the future. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, let me know and I'll make sure that we get some footage out there for you. Now this is going to be seen on both of my channels, not only on the Massachusetts Prepper channel, but also on the RC for Life 29 channel. So, you know, if you guys in the prepping community like this kind of stuff and would like to see the video of this, you know, let me know and I'll put some of it on my prepping channel or you can check me out on RC for Life 29. The fun starts here and see this thing in action as well. So will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so because I'd hate to see this thing crash. I don't know if I would survive it. <laughs> Take care all. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Today we're doing a short little review on the Beretta BU9 Nano. Now as you can see, this is a very small gun. I mean, as I lay it in the palm of my hand here, um, it's just about, you know, the same size of my, as my palm. Very thin.